I'm Mike Allen. I'm a small business market manager at Cisco. Thanks for taking the time to view our podcast today. I'm going to demonstrate how to use Voice View Express. First thing you do is you want to walk up to the Services button, hit the Services button. Now, before this can happen, your administrator might have to enable this on your specific user and then on a system-wide level. Depends on the version of software and if this has already been done by default. Second, once you get here, you're going to choose number one for CME service URL. Now, my demo kit is a little different than most. I've actually got it going to a different services menu. All right, so I'm going to have to hit one, one more time. By default, you won't have to do this. Once you reach the menu that says Voice View Express Login across the top, enter in your mailbox ID number and then your password. By default, mine is 1234. Once I'm in, I can actually see, do I have any messages? Zero and you, meaning new and urgent. Zero new and zero saved. I've also got other options here to be able to send a message. Or, number three for my options, I can change my greetings, my message settings, my personal settings, even my zero out number. Meaning that if somebody reaches my mailbox and they press zero, where do I want that caller to go? Right now I've got mine going to extension 202. So let's go back here and I'm going to test how to send a message. I'm going to send it to myself at extension 201, click the submit key, and as you notice, based on the status of, these, uh, of the screen and what we're doing, you can actually see the soft keys changing. Just something to take note of. Now, I've got a recipient list of mscott201, which is the user of this phone. I'm going to now hit the record button. Test, 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 recording, recording, test, test, test. I'm going to stop recording. I can listen to the recorded message. Test, test, test. Recording, recording. Test, test, test. I can record it again. I can edit recipients. I'm going to go ahead and mark this one as urgent. If I keep on scrolling down, I can also change my delivery time or mark it as private. I think that's okay for me, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the send button. Now you notice I've got a message waiting line over here and now in my display I've got one new and urgent message one new message which is the same message and zero saved so I'm gonna press number one to listen to the message it's gonna say give me the closed envelope which means that it's an unread message or new message it's also giving me just like an outlook the exclamation point meaning that the message is urgent I'm going to select this message, and then I'm going to press the key for listen. Test, test, test. Recording, recording. Test, test, test. You can also see the soft keys were changing again, so I had options such as rewind, fast forward, send to someone else. Now that I've listened to this message, I'm going to click delete, and then I'm going to click go back to my inbox. Now if you'll notice, my voicemail message waiting light has turned off. I'm back at my main menu. Zero new messages, new and urgent messages, zero new messages, and zero saved messages. So I'm going to log out of Voice View Express. Now, some of the things that, uh, some quick applications, power users, people that get a lot of voicemail messages, they want to go through their messages quickly. What's nice about Voice View Express is that you do not, do not have to stop in between each message or listen to each message as they, as they came in. You can literally roll through the screen there and choose the message that you're looking for. So you'll notice things like caller ID in the message. If it's an internal caller or it's an external caller. You can actually call the message uh, sender back based on the phone number that they use to call you. So this is a great application for again power users of the system, people that get a lot of voicemails, or people like myself that might just be a little bit more impatient than waiting to listen to the prompts and instructions that come from the voicemail system. I like to see it in the display and hit it as fast as it presents it to me. So again, thanks for taking the time to view this video demo, this video podcast demo of Voice View Express.